All right, this video is from my girl, April, who wants to know if she needs a straightening brush. Uh, I have found that they are great. Okay, so here it's, I'm using dry bar. She's considering the longe. I, I don't have that one yet. It's a lot cheaper, so I'm interested in, I hope somebody gets it and gives me a review. Um, but since I'm using the dry bar, we're gonna go ahead and use the dry bar uh, prep rally, which checks up to 450 degrees. I've got my um, straightening brush at a uh, nice 400. Okay, so I washed my hair last night and I slept with it in a ponytail, uh, a very loose ponytail. And so it's it's got my natural wave to it. I prefer to use this tool when I'm drying my hair and then I at the end I'll go back in um, but I want you to see what it does with, you know, here that wasn't blown and dry to be straight. It's just natural. So I'm just brushing my hair and that's the beauty of this. The straightening iron is, it's a lot less work. Um, and I find it to be a lot more effective. Uh, so my hair's going to get, sorry. My hair's gonna get really long here. I gotta tilt this guy down some. Sorry for the shaking. Um, yeah, ideally you wanna take it and go really slowly and then you got super straight. Um, my hair has never loved straightening irons or being straight at all. It's naturally wavy. Um, but I just kind of, I don't know, I just like let it brush it out. Like let it feel to just sort of brush it out. And now, of course, I've got, oh, let's increase the heat. I'm going to keep it at 400. Um, I think that with curling irons, your hair is exposed to the heat for a shorter period of time. So I go hotter, um, whereas with the straight, the, the straightening brush, I don't need to. So I will go up to 435 um, or even 50. With a curling iron or a curling wand, but with this guy, I only go up to 400. And it doesn't need any more than that. So I'm going through and I'm like trying to straighten it out as much as I can, and then I'll go piece by piece and try and get um, this wave out. But it's going to be hard. This wave does not want to come out, I promise you. It's just my hair. Um, April's hair is wavy at this point, right? Is it ever curly? No, I don't think so. I think it's always been pretty wavy. So you probably have the same kind of, but it's not as long. April is a former redhead who doesn't dye her hair. So now it's a, sort of a red ashy color, just still nice. But as somebody who's a very fond hair dyer, I'm trying to convince her for years. So see, I'm just like brushing it out. And, but this, yeah, see this, it's this piece right here. I have to go really slowly through it a bunch of times. Maybe only once or twice. So where are we at? We're at four minutes. All right, so now I'm going to hit it up again and just kind of brush it out, which is what I like. Yeah, straightening iron, you certainly can't do this. But, um, and as with the straightening iron too, see I'm gonna have so much less volume, which is, I love my volume. And of course, straight hair shows my roots. But as we discussed, April doesn't dye her hair. So she doesn't have that problem. All right, 
gotta go slowly. <laughs> ha. My hair can take a lot, so I would, you gotta really figure out what temperature works best for you that both straightens and stays. It isn't good on your hair. All right, straight hair. Oh, it's not really my thing, but how are we doing? We still, it's these ones over here. See, it's one of the reasons I don't like to do it because it, uh, my hair fights back. My hair fights back. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to hit this with some, uh, I'm gonna pull up top down, down so you can see. This is Orb Dry Texture Spray. There's a dry product, product too, but this is the one that's here in my house. Um, and it's gonna give me a little more volume underneath which then will give us, give me more of the look that I want and not this, it's completely straight. There we go. It's a little better. All right. Okay, so now what we can see is this choppiness from my layers. Let's see if we can get that straight, taken care of a little bit better. Okay, right, I'm gonna go really slowly. Let's try it again. Um, my hair also gets super frizzy, straight. Um, and we will have to hit that with some oil in order to Stop that. All right. So here we go. Um, I'm going to grab some, it's just what's out, the Moroccan oil. Um, I'm going to take just the tiniest bit of it. I got too much. I have to wipe it off. I'm a little bit on my handy makeup eraser that's always there. And come in. And that's gonna give us, see, now you can see that they're behaving a little bit better. A little bit more, just a teeny tiny bit. Now I'm gonna go through once again with my brushy brush. Yeah, see I'm using, see I can use the heat um, brush as a, just a regular brush to you know get through and it's still getting a little more straight with that. So there we go. Um, this piece behind my ear, it doesn't matter what I do, but even my hairstylist can get that piece straight. Just, it says no. Um, and then we're going to take the sparkling soda, which is the dry bar um, shine mist. Smells like coconut. It's really nice. And now you probably can't see it because of the light, but it's, it's nice and shiny. And there you have it. See, I just. It wouldn't be any better with a straightening iron, um, and this is significantly faster.